Okay. The movable alphabet, the way we use it in the lower elementary classroom. Now, the movable alphabet is simply that, the alphabet that is movable. And we have them in each of the classrooms. Um, the pre-K movable alphabet is made up of wooden letters, and it's more of Danelian, more sensorial, where the elementary movable alphabet, they, it's more the ball stick letters, and they're on little white tiles. And we, we have them in the pre-K room, we have them in the lower elementary classroom, and we have them in the upper elementary classrooms. In lower elementary, we use the movable alphabet for phonics, for spelling, and for various word study, compound words, contractions. Um, we can use them to build phrases and then sentences also. So one of the first things we do, and this is very similar to the pre-K room, but we do have students that come into the elementary that still need to review their phonic sounds and build some of the simple words. And we have all these lovely little boxes that have objects. We start off with the three letter objects with short vowels and consonants. So the children lay it out. Any way they want. And then when we present it, we have them sound, say each of the objects. We have a fox. Pop, although many times they'll call it soda or coke or but pop, three little words, bud and cup. Now these we tell them to put aside and save them. This is our control. So we'll look at the first one. What sound do you hear? The beginning of the object name. Fox. F. Then what do you hear in the middle? Uh, uh. Now at this point, sometimes they might put the O, sometimes they may put the A. Either way, it's okay, whatever they hear. And then at the end, X, X. And that one's a little harder. Sometimes they might put the C, K, or the M, the S, or so they can put the X if they know that for sure. Now the reason I say that it's okay, because when they go back, and use the card to check their own work, they're checking it for their own error, and we let them know it's okay to make a mistake. That's how we learn sometimes. So once they take the control out, check it, this one was right. But like I said, if they had the A instead, oh, no, remember this is A, this makes the ah sound, so fax instead of fox. So it's, they can change it. It's okay. We all make mistakes. That's how you learn. So the same with the other letters. They'll continue and they'll check their own work. Now something else we do with the, there's a different box. Sometimes if they come in already reading, we use the boxes for spelling. And the spelling we find that a lot of times they can read the words, but they need to actually get the spelling correctly. And this one here is the I silent E. And this one's one of my favorites because we have what we call the silent, I'll put these in later. We have the silent E that is invisible and it's also movable. And I love this because when we put out the letters and they spell it, same thing. Here we have this here is a tile. Now let's see if I can find a bride bike. Five. I wanted to find one that I could spell out that had a short vowel word. Um, Maybe tile. I'll use tile. So again, when they're spelling it, they usually spell it out. I know the word tile, I, 
L, but they're missing the last letter. Oh, where's my ball? Here we go. They're missing the last letter. What did you spell? Till. Till. Because a short I makes an I sound, so you need the silent E. The silent E is invisible because it doesn't say anything, but it will tell the vowel here, say your name. And he says, tile. So they'll continue on placing all the letters and the silent E. Now at this point with the spelling, we have the children write it out in their booklet. And this one, oh, it happens to be tile. And when they write it, we also make sure that they emphasize with a colored pencil the I and the E, the, the sound that they're learning to spell. And so they'll go through, do all of them, emphasize the sound that they're spelling, and get it checked by teacher when we read it and everything to them. So, so phonics and spelling. We also, the punctuation. Um, we will take, have them take the movable alphabet. Let me move these out of the way. When we teach them, for example, uh, capitalization and punctuation, we will have the students put out some of their words. This particular activity is they're learning how to use capital letters and periods. So they'll put out the phrases. This is a sentence. This is a sentence. This is a phrase. This is not a sentence. So they've already had the lesson on what is a sentence, what is a phrase, and what is not a sentence. The idea of a sentence actually tells you something. So, and it could be an asking question, a sentence. It can be a uh, just a telling sentence. Either way, it, a sentence it tells you something. So, this one here. There are seven continents. Is it telling me something? Well, yes, it's telling me that there are seven continents. So this is a sentence. Fish have gills. Is that telling you something? Yeah, it is. It's telling me that a fish has gills. An elephant. It's really not telling me anything. So this is not a sentence. They continue with the rest of them and lay them out. And then using the movable alphabet, our movable alphabet has um, quotation marks, it has apostrophes, it has periods, commas. So we will have them take the sentences and add the period. And they need to make sure they have the capital letter at the beginning of the sentence.